Dylan's in the hot tub. Dylan's upstairs. I have yeah. a few things on the agenda today. I love it. What's up? Well, um, I need to make sure that if Dre wins HOH next week, you don't go on the block. And I need to make sure if William wins that you do. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to tell her that the only way we could get William to vote is through you. Mm-hmm. And if William votes to keep me, I'm going to make a deal with you and tell her that I cannot put you on the block. Perfect. And I feel I'm, I've already started sabotaging Dylan to her. Perfect. And she's buying into it. Nice. So we're so starting that way. My agenda is to make sure William votes to keep you. Yeah. And if he wins, that he yeah. goes up Dylan and care. I'm already like, um, she's already starting to not like Dylan. So I've been pushing it all yesterday. I think she's rebuilt her trust with me. I think she's seeing it where I'm like. The thing is, if we vote with, if William votes with us and does this, he's doing it solely based on Kevin. So I have to make the deal with Kevin. Mm-hmm. I cannot put him off on the block. So I have an HOH and you're not on the block. It doesn't look suspicious. Perfect. And I'm going to also tell her that I cannot go back on my word because we haven't done that in this game. Mm-hmm. And I could also tell her that, like, where is she wins HOH? We need to steer her off and put her onto Dylan, and that's what I'm working on right now. Perfect. So that's good. Anything f- on the agenda today? Any- anybody else? Just for me, I'm gonna make sure that William feels comfortable with yeah. you staying. Yeah, I think he does, but I'm gonna push that really hard today. Yeah. And then if he wins, make sure he nominates Dylan and Karen. And yeah. And you do yeah. That's my goal. That's just yeah. what I'm We need to make sure that in the, in the slight event, if Dream wins, we need to. I need to make her be like, listen. We need to make this deal. Like, she needs to come to you and mm-hmm. be like, but she says she she told me that if she doesn't make a deal with you, she's lying. That's what she said. But if I win HOH and you're not on the block, it will not look suspicious because I'm going to tell her that I'm going to make a deal with you. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? You're going on a car ride. I'm going on a car ride. Yeah, you're going on a car ride. I don't have the also, you guys. <laughs> Dre and I will talk to you today, but not game. It's about um, William is unintentionally making you look bad to Canada and to the house. Why? Because you're seen as like mature, a prey, and he's seen as very childlike and innocent. And he does complain about you to Dre. And I just had a long conversation with her Mm. about perception and image. I'm like, Kevin is only one year older than William. He's Mm. young. He's not preying upon him. William felt like you degraded him when you said that. I don't know. I don't know what was said, but he said that you degraded him when you said that him and you and Peely are incomparable or whatever. But I told her it's not degrading that you're just being honest. Mm -hmm. If you said that, I'm like, if he had said that it's comparable, that would be him lying Mm -hmm. and him doing this. And I feel like that's why he was upset last night. Because he, he didn't sleep in the HOA, she slept in the room, so that's mm-hmm. fine. So he told her that, I mm-hmm. also told her that. Because Karen's like, hey, Kevin, Peely's, William's your Peely this year. And I said, no. Yeah. I said, no. Oh. I told her that, like, I feel like, regardless if she likes you or not, or if I like you or not, this is affecting your life. And when you leave this house, if this person is making you look that way, and we are, like, everybody in this house, including myself, at one point have called you disgusting, mm-hmm. because they think that you are bring up on him and we just want to apologize to you and let you it know I know and I told her that today I'm like at first I thought that you were and I thought you weren't and I thought maybe you're more concerned about your image and I'm like he's not mm-hmm. and I spoke to her and she wants to apologize to you as well Perfect. not game okay so we have a non-game talk with Dre non-game talk with Dre where it's like it looks bad yes. like, I, and I don't think you realize how bad it looks and I also told her that in this house, image is perception, mm-hmm. and William appears very innocent, very childlike, very naive, mm-hmm. and Kevin comes off as more mature, strong. And I'm like, they're only a year or two apart, and it's not fair to put that responsibility on Kevin mm-hmm. because William has stronger feelings for Kevin than he has for him, but that's not Kevin's fault. Yeah. We had like a two-hour conversation about Good. it, cool. and I think... She gets it, and I also get it, and we also get the part where we might have enabled William to feel like he is the innocent one, like he is, like you, not me, because I don't talk to him, but her. And I'm like, if you're somebody's friend, you have to say you are making somebody 
look bad unintentionally mm -hmm. to a large group of people and the whole house believes it as well. And I feel like a stop should be put to it because this could affect your, and I don't think you knew all this time mm -hmm. how bad it, it, it is. It's bad, Kevin. It's bad. Like, game aside, it looks bad. Yeah. It looks like, it looks, I, I, I also told her, I'm like, the, when I knew that she thinks that you're pushing yourself onto him and you're you're the one that's leading you. Not at all. And I told her no. I'm like, I was in that HOH room and I looked at the bed and you were like this, laying like that, and he was here. He scooched over and his legs were like that. And there's all that I'm like, it's not Kevin. I've, I've trying to be like push away. Like. I know. And I feel like and I told her, I'm like in this house because of because it is societal belief. Please go. It is the diary where room. people look at you and they, you can't shake society's impression of what you people can. think about you. Like people look at me like, oh, she's sassy, she's this, she's that, she's this, she's yeah. that. They don't see anything kind that I do because yeah. I'm not a kind person to size. William is innocent, sweet, naive. He's, he's just your age, but he seems very childlike. Yeah, exactly. It's different. And I said, if Kevin looked like William, you would be like, William, get over it, stop. Yeah. You wouldn't be, oh, he's degrading me. But I see, I'm seeing him as older and like... You see him as older and I told her, Mike, Kevin grew up in a very sheltered home. Yes. And it's not in him to be a malicious person like not that. At all. I feel like because people don't know you and you're hard to read, mm -hmm. it's easy for people to venalize you. Like you are seen as a villain because With of that, that boy. Yeah. And to the house, guess. To the house. And do you think to Canada? Because at one point, I'm just going to be real, again, game aside, I thought you were only being like nice and caring because you were concerned about your image. Mm -hmm. And I'm just being honest. Not at all. And I told her upstairs that how could Kevin not care about somebody who wants to protect him in this house? It's mm -hmm. natural. He's not using him, and it's not about his image. And I was wrong. You were wrong, and you're enabling him, and we need to apologize to Kevin and put a stop to it. Okay. Like, put a stop to what? Because every single person in this house, everyone, has called you disgusting and said that you're preying upon him, you're using the, they call him the poor boy. Mm -hmm. That poor boy, don't know what Kevin's doing to him. That poor Jesus. boy. Yeah. I did not know that. And I that, didn't. That was from, and like everybody, the Karen, Dylan, Jackie. Every you know. single person, mm -hmm. including me, has yeah. been, at one point, has been like. I can see where it comes off like that, though. No, but, and that's why, um, like, last night Dylan made some comments about the ghetto and whatever, and I'm like, you can't be offended about that because Kevin is pretty much in the same position. He's just not black. Mm -hmm. He looks a certain way. So if Dylan thinks I appear a certain way and it's based on appearances, mm. Kevin is being appeared a certain way because of like him looking a certain way and William looking a certain way. It's the exact same thing. Gotcha. And I feel really bad. Oh, I'm stressed now, but yeah, I didn't it, know that it... Yeah, it looks like, And I'm just telling you based on like, mm. I am getting to know you a little bit. Yes. I don't think you're like that. Whereas before... I didn't. didn't know what you were like, and you know what I know that when you leave this house years later, things mm -hmm. that you do or how you perceive follows you. It does, yeah, and absolutely. I don't want that for you, and I don't want to be someone who fed into it and mm -hmm. who made it seem real because of the perception. Like everyone has said, he's disgusting, he's, he's using that poor, they call him the poor boy. Mm -hmm. And I said to Dre, I'm like, William is seen as innocent, childlike, naive, but he's quite sassy and not innocent at, yeah, all. Not at all. But perception beats reality in this house. It does. It beats it. And I'm like, you need to talk to William and tell him that he is unintentionally damaging Kevin's yeah. reputation outside of this house. I knew that Netta was damaging herself. Mm -hmm. And I'm and I know that he's damaging you. Yeah, Unintentionally. I know that. Yeah. Thank you so much for telling me. So Dre and you were gonna talk to me about that today. I yeah, I just spoke to her about it because cool. she came to me and told me that Kevin is disgusting, he degraded William, he said this, and I'm like, okay, tell me exactly what happened. 
And then she told me, and I'm like, I'm like, the thing is, I have met Kevin and Peely, and even though I'm not close to them, you could sit in a room and feel their love. Yeah. It's not something that you could touch, you could feel it. And if Kevin had came here and said that it's the exact same thing with William, then I'd be like, he's a, he's a liar. Yeah. I'm like, he is genuinely being honest, and I'm realizing that I have bought into the perception of William. I'm not saying William's a bad person. He's unintentionally doing this, but mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about image and perception and we don't like when people perceive us to be a certain way, mm -hmm. we are damaging this boy. Mm -hmm. no, thank you so much. You. When I don't want you to leave this house and we, mm -hmm. rel and we bought into that because the house buying into that also looks mm -hmm. bad. So you. we're in the hot tub and then it was me and William in the hot tub and then Karen said, like, Kevin, so P William's your Peely this year. And I just looked at her and said, no, no, it's not like that. Yeah, oh, he I said you degraded him. So William's upset that I degraded him. To, and every single time that he's been upset in this house, mm -hmm. it's been because of you. And I said to Dre, it is not Kevin's fault that William has more feelings. Kevin is not 30 years old. Kevin is young. Mm -hmm. He is young. And if he's in this house, like, he has the pressure of being back as a returning player. He has the pressure of, like, the family. Yeah. He has the pressure of not disrespecting Peely. Mm -hmm. He has the pressure of wanting to have fun. Yeah. And he is it's young. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And he wants to enjoy himself. And if he wants to flirt, like, why does he have to be so nice for it? Yeah. It's like, why? And she was like, that's true. And she wants to apologize to you. She said that she wanted to open apologize to you, and William was like, no, why? Type of thing. So I shouldn't talk to Will. I should wait till I talk to Dre. I think talk to Dre, and mm. I, you you also need to have a very serious conversation with William. Mm. I don't think he's aware of how bad you look, and I didn't feel comfortable telling you because at one point I felt I, I bought into it. That I was using him. About into it just because of how he made things seem. Mm -hmm. How he is very childlike. But you, see, you see it on the bed. I'm curled up on my one side and he's on the other. Like, That's when I realized it. Yeah. That is when I realized it. Like, that day in the HOH, before that comp, and I also told her that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you were out. I'm like, Kevin was like, I, I took out the deodorant yeah. and pretend that it was the bed and explained to her exactly how it was. I'm like, he was like, what? I'm like, he was here, then he was here, and his, even when he was here, his legs. That's how it's been the whole, it's been like that for weeks, for weeks. I know, but, and I just got it. Yeah. I just got it, but, I'm, and I told her, I'm like, Dylan, we need to take a 10 minute conversation, not game, mm -hmm. and just talk to you, because good. it doesn't look oh. good. It doesn't look good. Every single person in this house, everyone mm -hmm. has called you disgusting and a user and a prey. Like these are words that they're using to describe you in this house they just think that's of, out there. They just think I'm taking the poor boy and just They call him the poor boy. They call him the poor boy. Uh, now I'm worried about how it looks. Yeah. I, uh, like is that really and how that, it looks to Canada or do they? Yeah. yeah. They see him as the poor boy. And we are not overtly emotional people. Not at I. all. So. It's easy to villainize people like us. Yeah, it is. You get, I'm sure you're villainized all the time on the show. Yeah. Just because of how you are. Yeah. yeah. Right? But I told her, I'm like, it's easy for us to villainize Kevin because we don't know him and we can't read him. Mm -hmm. So we could say what everyone wants to say and it's true. Mm -hmm. But everyone's a liar in this house. Everyone's shady. Mm -hmm. Everyone's nice. Everyone's sweet. But personal is not a bad person. I'm not. I'm not. I'm a yeah. softie. Like, I really am. Yeah. But I did not think that you knew. I didn't know. And that's why I'm like, I told her, I'm like, we need to sit down with her. We apologize. And like, because he does it a lot. Yeah. He does it a lot. The thing is, is that every time he's upset in this game, it's over you. It's over every the rose. Every time he's in this game, it's over you. It's over the rose it's every time. Over, over the rose. So everyone thinks that you have this control over him and you're purposely using it. Not at all. How's the hot tub? Oh, you know, it was fine. Drizzling.